Hello, it's Cassie and Deanne again. We are out here in Lake Worth today. We have an 81 year old widow. Um, she lives in this cute little house that was built in 1942. Her daughter lives with her um, and has done a great job of trying to beautify the home and doing some, you know, cosmetic help around the house. But there's, there's certainly some structural work that needs to be done. They hired a contractor to come out. He did minimal work and as you can see, left material everywhere and didn't finish the job. That's a sad story that we've heard way too many times. Um, on this house, the roof probably needs to be replaced. They, they've had several roof leaks. Uh, they've hired somebody to patch it a couple of times, which has helped, but um, you can see where and water stains in the ceiling. They actually had the roof cave in in one of the bedrooms. Um, the soffit and fascia, some of it needs to be replaced. The siding and trim need to be scraped and painted. As you can see along here. This roof along the porch here, I think probably the deck boards need to be replaced. I don't know if you can see it real well, but it's starting to rot back there. Let me walk around this side. It's hard to see the roof because they have these big beautiful magnolia trees where I can't really get a good shot of the roof. Uh, more scraping and painting along all the siding. Try and zoom in and you can see the trim all along the roof. Some of it needs to be replaced, some of it just needs to be painted. This carport here needs quite a bit of work. They said it was leaning real bad, so they had somebody come and put up this four x four here that it's just leaning against. But the roof on it probably needs to be replaced as well. You can see it's, it's leaning pretty hard still. And it's just rotting. Back here, they're worried it's gonna fall on the cars. More trim and paint. Okay. We'll do some more painting back here on the. We just have to watch the poo poo right now. We can paint this shed. Here's some of the siding that's been replaced that needs to be painted. It's terrible. It's, it's all peeling pretty bad. It's scraped and painted there. Video, but the tiles lift in and the floor just kind of sinks back behind that toilet there. Some water damage here on the ceiling. Just note that this is their favorite room of the house, but they have no HVAC in the home. They only have window units in each room. And frankly, can't afford to run these um, these window units in every room. Uh, it just makes the electricity bill spike astronomically. So they're kind of confined to the living room and the kitchen area because it's the only area they can keep hot and cold. In here, we have one heating element in the whole house. They have this one heat source. This is in the kitchen. Uh, you can see some more signs of possible foundation there okay this is a tricky one here this is mom's bedroom right off the kitchen and this door opens into the kitchen and makes it kind of difficult for mom to get past it because it you know it opens into this counter here and she's got a little step down situation here so we were hoping that maybe we could get another door that swings to the inside and towards that wall there um, to make it a little safer for mom to get in and out and not take up so much room in the in the small kitchen. I think in order to do that, we're probably gonna have to move this cabinet to that wall and that desk to this wall so that that door will open there. She's also asked for some handicap handles right here so she can get in and out right here because there is a little step down. The bathroom has um, the shower is leaking. We may just need to replace the faucet, but it's just constantly draining, which is of course running up their water bill. 
the sink drains really slowly. I think maybe the P-trap needs to be cleaned out. Let's look in here. You can see the ceiling panels are buckling. Oh, I don't know how to turn the light on, but I think you can see it. The ceiling panels are buckling in here. More signs of possible foundation trouble. Some big cracks in the walls here. Like we say, the daughter has done a great job of, of trying to keep the house beautiful and comfortable for mom, but there's just so much of it that she can't do. Um, and they were really taken advantage of by some contractors and, and now they just, they don't have the funds or the, the physical capability to get a lot of this work done. So if you know anybody that can help, again, we need roof, foundation, HVAC, some plumbing, um, and then just some smaller things like uh, doors, caulking, painting, trim, that sort of thing. If you know anybody that can help, please comment below. Um, please email us. We would love to partner with you.